So clamshells, they are great for really strengthening the glute med um, in men a little bit throughout it. It's just a glute, a, overall a good um, glute strengthener. Commonly, the glute med is not as strong as it should be. And so this exercise would be indicated more um, for strengthening. It can help with range of motion too, because you're forcing it um, to go through that, mo like that motion in the hip, but typically you would use it a lot for strengthening, um, especially when you use resistance bands. I can, you can see in this video, there's just two different angles of it. They're focusing on the, so the glute mean on the side of the hip, that's what we're focusing on, strengthen that area. You're not trying to rotate the hips throughout it. So you can see that the hips should not be rotating and the knee just goes um, towards the sky with that and you have your knees bent to really force that motion through it. Um, you want your back to be parallel and you wanna be on your side to do this. Um, well and to really isolate so some common mistakes is people rotating their hips off the ground and more um, and not using and isolating those muscles to the side but trying to use like the whole um, body to really twist the knee up when really it should just be the side of the hip so like the glute med. Um, this exercise prescription would be three by twelve because again it's for strength and so it, we don't want it fully in endurance but we're still trying to create like Strength through it all, so three by 12. If you want to progress this, you can do a high resistance band. Currently, this patient was only using an orange, and so you could go high resistance, but you could also do more reps, um, and that would create more of endurance for this muscle. Uh, regression would be doing like two by 12, so just doing not as much, but also lowering the resistance band. This is an exercise that can be done with no resistance. Um, and again, that would be more focusing on range of motion than strength at that time, but you could also just lower the resistance band and still be working on strength but less. You want to discontinue this exercise if you have like further injury to the area that this position and this movement would be detrimental um, to causing more injury or more damage. And you want to move past this or progress this exercise when you're trying to move to more like functional movements and more powerful movements. This exercise is very isolating um, to one particular area muscle and not very functional with the movement it is itself.